Welcome, I'm Janice Pettit, and I'm here at the Raleigh divorce firm of Gaylor Hunt, Jenkins, Davis, Taylor, and Gibbs. And we're here to speak to the attorneys about many of the issues that people are concerned about when they're facing the difficult situation of divorce. So right now, I'm talking to Tony Kehoe, and he's going to share with us how you should collect electronic evidence to support you in your divorce case. So welcome, Tony. Good morning, Janice. So I guess my first question would be, what types of evidence should you collect legally in North Carolina that would help your case? Well, it's important to collect data that is relevant to your case. And when we're speaking about electronic data, we're talking about data that comes from cell phones, laptops, iPads, personal computers, or any similar devices. Uh, for example, this kind of data could be audio clips, video clips, internet browser history, text messages, emails, and even phone call log history. And how could that evidence be used to support your case or even be used against you? Oh, well, a lot of the time we're talking about your fitness as a parent. So this data could be used for your case or against the opposing party's case as you know, for their uh, custody situation. Also, if you're looking for proof of marital misconduct or a cheating spouse, this evidence could be used to provide proof of that. Another way this could be used would be if you're looking for hidden financial assets, you could be going through browser history and find some websites that link to a bank account or something similar in nature to that, which would show you, you know, give you a good trail to follow to find those hidden assets. So Tony, could you actually be required to submit your phone or your computer to the court? Yes, absolutely. Uh, a judge could order you to turn over your electronic device if it contains relevant information. Typically though, we like to request these devices in the discovery process, uh, which is the research and exchange of information that happens before the trial. It's very important though to collect this data legally as the owners of the devices could have a right to privacy. Um, if you end up collecting data in the wrong way, it could hurt your case, or it could also just be illegal. So once the data is actually turned over, the devices are turned over mm -hmm. to the court, how do they actually collect the evidence? So at that point, an electronic expert would step in, take an electronic image of the device, which is they would copy it exactly, get all the data off of there, and that process would take maybe just a couple hours, then the device would be returned to its owner. At that point, the expert would go in, look at the data, see what's relevant, and follow the agreement of the parties of what they could look at, uh, which information they could take, which data is relevant. If they can't, if the parties cannot agree what data is relevant, the court would have to step in and lay the, the boundaries for that. So this is really important. It's a, an important part of modern day divorce. Absolutely, whether it's divorce, custody case, mm -hmm. a lot of electronic data is relevant and your attorney could help you in your individual case to determine what that, what that would be. Great, thank you so much, Tony. Really thank you. appreciate it. So if you need to contact Tony or learn more about this, his contact information is included in this video. And if you know somebody that's in this situation, please feel free to like, comment, and share. Thanks so much. Thank you, Janice.